Hi there, welcome to Dee's Healthy Bites. In today's episode, I am making Thandai. It's a wholly special drink made with milk infused in lots of nuts, seeds and spices. This drink is super healthy and can be had at any time of the year as well. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe now and hit that bell icon for future updates. Firstly, I'll make a tandai paste of these nuts, seeds and spices. I'm making two variations of this, vegan with rose flavor and regular with queso flavor. With no further delay, let's check out the ingredients and get started. I have soaked the almonds for about an hour in hot water and they are now ready to be peeled off. Now to a blender, add poppy seeds and pulse them. To this, add fennel seeds now. Then add the nuts, almonds, cashew nuts and the pistachios. And then the seed mix. Peppercorns about 8 to 10. And then rose petals. And finally some milk. Now blend this into a coarse paste. It's now ready. Moving on to the vegan tandai rose flavor. Take a pan on medium heat. In goes almond milk, about a glass. Bring it to a boil and keep stirring it so that the bottom is not burnt. Right when it is ready to boil, add 2 tablespoons of the paste. Now keep stirring it and mix well so that the bottom of the pan doesn't get burnt and also the paste is well incorporated and cooked. Continue this for 3 to 5 minutes. Once you can smell the aroma of all the flavors, it is now ready to add in the sweetener. I am adding 2 tablespoons of maple syrup. Alternatively, you can add sugar too. I am just avoiding it. And keep mixing it and stirring it. Finally, add some rose essence and some crushed cardamom. Give it a good mix. Our rose flavor tandai is ready. I'm pouring this into a glass now. You can now pop this in the fridge as traditionally it's served chill. I'm going to garnish this with some rose petals on the top. And have it chilled or hot. I like it hot in the UK climate. That's it. And now moving on to the regular tandai with queso flavor. Everything remains the same. I'll just replace the milk with whole milk. Take a pan on medium heat and add about one glass whole milk. Bring it to a boil. But before that, add some queser strands to this. Mix, mix, mix. And then add two tablespoons tandai paste. Same as we did for the other one. I'm adding maple syrup again to this. If you want, you can add sugar too. Give it a mix. Cook for three to five minutes until everything is incorporated well. Once it releases the aroma, that is when it is ready. Pour it into a glass and top it with some queso strands and serve it cold or hot. That's it, both our thandais are now ready. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe.
subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for future updates. Thank you for watching and have a happy Holi.